So what is Control Me Robotics? So Control Me Robotics, uh, here at Control Me Robotics, we specialize in multi-rotor drones. So it's any drone that has four or more propellers. And we specialize in developing the technology around it and also the drones themselves. So we built a lot of custom drones for some of the largest brands in the world. What is a drone? The way like people traditionally think of it is we have a robot that can fly. So that's that's how we define a drone. Basically, in the media, you see like drone used for like uh, the ones flying in Afghanistan, the military use, and also something as small as the ones we see behind us. Everything is kind of clumped into the word drone. I know that the FAA <laughs> came out with some new regulations fairly recently um, about drones. Mm -hmm. What? How do you feel about those? So I think it's actually good that the FAA finally. They haven't come out with specific regulations yet, but they've come out with a, like the first proposal of what they think the rules could look like. And I think it's long overdue, obviously, that um, we get some kind of regulations, because it actually hurts the industry when you don't have any regulations, because investors might be hesitant to get into an area where they don't know exactly what the risk is. Uh, also for us, it's, it's harder for us to align with you know, a long-term business model. Um, because we Without don't know, how, yeah, we don't know how restrictive it will be. So it definitely helps that we get some kind of like peek into what the FAA is thinking. So what are the guidelines? So right now, um, for hobbyists or anyone who's not flying professionally, it's uh, below 400 feet, and the rules of you're not allowed to endanger people apply. So and when it comes to you know spying and those things, you know there's uh, privacy rules already in place. So. Of course, you cannot look into people's like windows and those kind of things as well. That's a good rule. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think all <laughs> these rules are really great. So yeah, it's just it's just a matter of like defining the rules where it makes sense for the industry and also it makes um, sense for the general public. So we don't, you know, as people who are already heavily invested in this space, we don't want to um, endanger the public and get the rules too restrictive. So we already try to follow certain guidelines ourselves. How are drones dangerous? So I think the general public kind of sees drones as where the most thing they fear is part of the spying aspect. And I think that's part of like, in my opinion, uh, maybe the least worry. I think the biggest worry is really that it's going to hit somebody. So down the road, like five, 10 years, do you see a world where there is drones all over the sky? <laughs> I don't really see that because I don't think there's a utility to that extent. But I do think it will be more like, um, like the air traffic, a um, little bit down the road, where you do need some kind of like coordination between the different drones so you don't have collisions. And you know, I know Amazon has tested out doing things with drones and dropping them on people's doorsteps. Do you think that's going to continue, or do the regulations keep people from doing that too much? So. The interest, Amazon is actually kind of interesting and also um, from our, our perspective because they're one of the first ones to really push um, like commercial drones in this way. So it kind of helps us that we have someone like Amazon kind of wanting to the regulations to go in the way so that we can keep innovating. I think in the future Amazon will continue the program and there will be others like it and I think delivery is definitely one of the things that could come in the future. The main problem is just like with electric cars, it's more the infrastructure, it's not that you can't already do it, it's just, you know, you need, you know, places to drop these packages, it has to be safe, you need, you know, the, the government and the um, local municipalities to agree to allow these kind of things as well. I know you do a lot of work with filmmakers <laughs> and photographers, so what are some of the projects you've been working on? So we've done a lot of um, work with filmmakers, and one of the great things we do use them for filming. So that's been, you know, a big category is simply the aerial photography and filming. But what we see more and more is that people actually want these to become part of shows. So they are on like different TV shows as characters, and they also been used as props. So it's like it's very like as the public become more aware of it, they also become integrated more into like the pop culture as well. Will we ever be able to travel on a drone? I I, I think so. Yeah, I don't see a reason why not. Would you be the first to sign up to fly on a drone? I I wouldn't be too scared of it. I think. It would... How do you think that would work? Would you hang from it? Yeah, I think it could or be some more like, like a, I've seen some concepts and there's some big like almost helicopter sized drones and they just have, you know, 
you know, 50 propellers, so they just have a lot of lift, and they work the same way that, they work in the same techno, technically the same way, but uh, they just scaled up. So when will drones have brains? So they already <laughs> kind of have brains, right? It's like they have the microprocessor inside, and that is like the brain that controls everything. Let's go fly some drones. That sounds good.